Today's Teal House Farm Vlog is the Puppy Edition. We will be featuring our two uh, LGDs, our large guard dogs. Their names... Oh my goodness. The neighbor's kitten is paying us a visit. And it's kind of needy. Anyway, our two LGDs, Jean and Roy, we named them after Jean Autry and Roy Rogers. We figured we needed some new sheriffs in town. Training your large guard dog puppy is both simple, but also kind of frustrating. Mostly because you want these dogs to be able to act independently. You don't want them to rely on you for every single thing because they're going to be out with your animals 24-7 once they get older and you need them to kind of have their own brain and know what to do if a predator or somebody shows up to your farm. But this independence also makes it hard to train them because uh, they think they're smarter than you and they know better. We need to teach our large guard dogs just a few commands so that uh, if there is a situation, um, we know that they're going to behave properly and uh, we can defuse the situation if we need to. And also if we have guests on the farm uh, and also with our own kids, nobody's going to get hurt. There's basically three commands that I want my puppies to know. Come, that one's pretty self-explanatory. I teach them no, so that means whatever is happening, whatever they're doing, I don't want them to do that anymore. This applies to a lot of stuff. No jumping. No chasing chickens. Leave that other dog alone. No. You can use no for a lot of stuff. The last thing that I want to teach my puppies, and this is the one that I've not worked with them yet, um, but that's sit, and that's what we're going to do today or lay down you know one of the other um, we've worked on come they're really good at coming when you call them they love the attention uh, they're really good at following me around on the farm they're pretty good at no um, we're still working on not jumping on people they're, they're getting a lot better at that uh, but today we're going to work on sit all right We've got two puppies, we're just going to work with one at a time. Trying to do two at once would just be crazy. And I'll show you as I get the puppies out, before I pet them, they know that they need to calm down and they usually sit automatically. And so that's something that's good. You don't want these big puppies, because they're going to get much bigger, jumping on people. Um, that's, a, that's a big no-no. Try that again? Hmm? Let's try it again. Hmm? Come on. Hey. Come. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm taking him over here on the other side of the house to get him away from his brother so that we have. Uh, good focus hopefully I'm doing this no I'm doing this without treats so we'll have to see what happens here sit good boy good boy yeah he's a good boy come sit Good boy! Yeah, he's a good boy! Good boy! Yes, you are. Yeah, we got in your eye there. What happened? That's playing with your brother. Alright, let's try again. Let's try again. Come! You're okay. Hey! No! Come! Sit. Good boy. Oh, you're so sweet. All right, I 
am not a professional dog trainer. He's, his attention is being drawn by his brother yapping over there. He's not happy. And uh, that last time when I called him, he came to me and then he heard his brother and started to run over there. But I yelled no and he stopped and came back. So I'm not happy that he, his attention got distracted, but I am happy when I yelled no, he stopped and came back. So um, I might work with a little bit more with um, Roy here and then we'll pull Gene out and try the same thing. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, this is with Gene. He's a little bit smaller than Roy, but I feel like he's a little more tender. Roy is just a little bit more of a bruiser. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what the training's like with Gene here. You're supposed to go play. No. don't like that. Gene, come. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. Gene, come. Good boy, sit. Okay. No, no. 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 Sit. Sit. No. That's not what I want. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. All right, you can tell I am not a professional. I may have done a lot of things wrong with them. I'm doing the best I can and, and hopefully uh, they turn out to be good listening dogs. There's three main problems I have with them now that I'm not sure how to solve yet. Uh, the first one is they love the laundry on the line. It's like their favorite game in the world to rip the laundry off the line. And uh, so you have to catch them in the act of doing that and discipline them for it. So that's a big no-no. The other big no-no, and I hate it because both of these things relate to uh, Laura's life. They love her long hair, whether it's tied in a long braid or she just has it hanging down, they nip at it and pull at it. And as you can imagine, that hurts. And so that's something else that I've got to work with them on. And the last thing that they do that I think they're just having fun, they love knocking my chicken waterers over. Just, I, I don't, they're, they're three quarters um, Pyrenees and a quarter lab. And I think that lab helps make them a little more trainable maybe, but they love water and they love knocking those chicken waters over. So that's something I have to work with them on. We still have a lot of work to do with these puppies. They're, they're not 20 weeks old yet. Um, and so uh, there's, there's still a long, long way to go, but I feel like we're on the right track with them so far. Uh, they do pretty well with the chickens. They don't really chase them around. That makes me happy. With that being said, all of that being said, the most important thing I have to work with them on and really work with my girls on is not being afraid. My girls are terrified of the puppies and uh, they just need to spend some more time with them, I think. That's kind of what we're trying to do with our puppies here. Just give them, you know, two or three basic commands that, uh, you know, if there's a situation or they're not doing what we want, we can, we can make sure that they're not going to hurt anybody. Uh, and then other than that, you want your LGD to be independent. You don't want them to have to look to you for everything. Because what's going to happen at 3 in the morning uh, when something's getting your chickens and it's going to take you two or three minutes to get out there and figure out what's going on, you need your 
guard dog to be able to think on its feet and to uh, protect whatever animals you have on your farm. I think that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.